friends let us see how we can create a preloader gif animation in photoshop so let us start i am taking a a4 size landscape document and i will remove the background so i will take a new layer and simply delete the background so i will take only a transparent background then the next thing i will be doing is i am going to create guides so to create guides we have to use control h okay and also uh, you need rulers here see if you want to see the guides you need rulers here the shortcut for rulers is control r right so once you have the rulers you can simply drag a guide from these rulers and uh, keep it exactly at the middle of the document take one more guide and also keep it at the middle of the document so now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to create circles using the ellipse tool so select the ellipse tool and then uh, we will give some color to this ellipse so we need some red color so just uh, hold shift so that you are going to get a perfect ellipse then uh, keep it exactly at the top here at the top of the document then the next thing we are going to do is we are going to change the center point of this ellipse or you can also call it reference point so how we can change the center point simply select the ellipse and uh, here we can find uh, the option to change the center point and if you click on this uh, box here or you can say reference point see if you you can see the different boxes see when i have changed the box you can see the reference points point for this ellipse is at its bottom so what we can do is uh, so we will not keep it at its bottom we will keep it we will change the center point and keep it at the center of this guide or center of this document and uh, if you can't move the uh, reference point so you have to turn on this option turn on this tick mark toggle reference point so now you can see the reference point so and also one more thing is uh, if you uh, want to see the reference point you have to activate your transform tool that is very important so now let us change the reference point slowly move it and keep it exactly keep it exactly at the center of this document right so once you have placed it at the center of the document just you rotate the ellipse just you rotate the ellipse and uh, keep 30 degrees in this input field and hit enter and the next thing we are going to do is we are going to create duplicates by hitting a shortcut control alt shift t so in this way we can create some duplicates so we need only this much so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to change the color for these ellipses so i am going to start from the bottom ellipse uh, we can just simply activate the ellipse tool and uh, the bottom uh, one is going to be uh a dark red 
so something like this and uh, we are actually going to change it a little bit okay this much uh, red is okay right and the next one is so we can actually uh, pick this color uh, and then uh, we want it we want it to be a little bit lighter so something like this so we have to gradually make the ellipse lighter so for each ellipse we are going to select a lighter version of red color so again we will uh, select the next ellipse and then we will just uh, pick this color and then again we will just move a little bit upward here so like this so second and again we are going to repeat the process for the next uh, ellipses pick the color and just select a lighter color that's it just uh, we have to be patient and uh, we are going to get um, lighter colors so like this and one more ellipse and again uh, pick this color and again find a lighter shape right and just uh, a few more ellipses are there right so just we will uh, finish it off right so now just uh, one last ellipse uh, we, are, we are going to select and then what we will do is the remaining uh, two red color ellipses are there we are going to delete them that's it so now we got a uh, different shades of red color starting with a dark red and gradually becoming lighter so now we are going to use this one to create a preloader so how we can create a preloader simply remove the guides uh, just remove the guides by just dragging them outside the document and the next thing we are going to do is see to create a GIF animation we are going to open timeline so where is the timeline so go to windows and uh, select timeline so here we have opened the timeline so you just see here cr create frame animation and in case you don't see frame animation you will be seeing one more option that is create video timeline so we are not going to use the video timeline we are going to use frame animation so simply click on this create frame animation right so then just we need we have to just use one single option so that we are going to get a gif animation so that single option is just click on the top right corner button for this uh, timeline uh, dialog and uh, you are going to find a uh, an option that is make frames from layers that's it so just remember this make frames from layers so the moment you select it it is going to convert all these layers into frames all the layers are arranged sequentially as frames and now if you just click on this play button the play button is at the bottom of this timeline so you can see one nice animation so just see some nice animation is coming so something like this so then uh, one thing I can do is uh, so if you want uh, uh, a proper GIF animation there is one thing we can do so I'm going to delete all these layers all these frames sorry so simply delete it and then uh, we will actually uh, activate all the layers right so 
the thing we are going to do is first we are going to merge all these layers so we are going to simply merge so uh, we can actually use a keyboard shortcut control e to merge all the layers okay but uh, to, if we merge actually it's losing its color so instead we, we are going to do one thing so simply right click and select convert to smart object so this is what we can do and uh, then again uh, what we'll do is we are going to just uh, create a guides again just uh, for one last time so that we will know exactly where the center point for this document is and then so what i will be doing is i am going to create duplicates so i will create the next duplicate control j so after creating this duplicate so we have to actually change the center point okay the center point is at the center uh, of the document so th that is what we want actually so in case it is not there you have to change the center point then the next thing we'll be doing is so i'm going to arrange it see i'm going to just rotate it properly like this and uh, try try your best to arrange it just we can arrange it like this and then uh, we can take one more layer and rotate it again just rotate it we can keep a, a simple value here a round figure something like this and just re keep repeating control of j and again we can rotate it and uh, control j again and again we can rotate it like this and control j again and we can rotate it again like this control j again so just uh, we have to be a little bit patient right so once we have rotated in this manner so we have actually different layers now so all we have to do is we have to open timeline again and then this time i'm going to do the same or i'm going to apply the same option again which is just click on the top right corner button and select make frames from layers so now if you play the animation just look at the way the animation is playing so now the only thing left for us is to export it but we will also slow down the animation the animation is a, a little bit fast so just select all the frames and then uh, slow down the animation by just clicking uh, at the bottom here it is 0 seconds now so we will make it uh, uh, 0 0.2 seconds so let's play it again so now the animation is a little bit slow So now all we have to do is export it and create a, a nice GIF animation. So this uh, GIF animation can be used for websites, used in websites for creating a preloader. So just all we have to do is simply go to file and select save as and uh, just save it on the desktop or wherever you want and the most important thing is select the gif 
and then we can simply uh, say preloader final animation and let us save it so here just uh, click ok here final output so this is our final output you can use it in any website at the beginning when a website is uh, loading you can use this one you can integrate uh, this uh, file uh, in a HTML file there is also one more way uh, in case uh, you are a web designer and you want to create such uh, preloaders and include them in your website so for you there is one more option that is uh, you can actually go to file and uh, instead of just say uh, selecting save as if you want to save it as a html uh, compatible file so you can just select export and uh, select save for web so here we can simply uh, just uh, change the width here 2000 so that uh, uh, your animation will be visible and the one important change that you are supposed to do is see always ensure that the option over here is GIF the format over here is GIF don't select any other format and the next thing you are supposed to do is here the looping options are forever if you want you can select once means the animation is going to play once and it's going to stop but we want the animation to play forever to loop forever so let us keep the option uh, forever here and then the last thing uh, you are supposed to do is simply click on the save and uh, uh, what we can do is here images only option is there so instead of images only you can select HTML and images or you can select HTML only so that this file will be compatible for web designing web de designers or uh, if you want to create a, a preloader for websites so you can select this and then simply say preloader for websites so something like that uh, you can give name right So this is the uh, preloader for websites and uh, whoever knows uh, HTML language they can uh, just integrate this file in their websites. You can see a dot HTML uh, over here it is a HTML file or you can just use it as a simple uh, preloader uh, for creating some GIF files so this is a, a simple and easy way of creating a preloader for websites so I hope you like this tutorial if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe like share and if you have anything to say do comment see you again